Hello students, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. So in this video we would be studying about the scope of a variable and we would be seeing that why different scope help us to uh, contain the variables and how we can make variables that are accessible throughout the Python program. Okay, so first let's understand the meaning of this word scope. So scope basically means the area or the part of the program where a particular variable can be accessed, where its value can be used. Okay, so depending upon where the variable has been defined in a Python program or the first time the variable, the part of the program where the variable has been assigned a value defines the scope of that variable. Okay, so you would remember that we in the last video uh, studied about the return statement and it might occur to you that why do we need a return statement can't the variables that are defined or used for the first time in a, inside a function can those variables be directly used without returning them outside the function so the answer is no the variables that are used and defined for the very first time inside any function cannot be accessed outside the function and that is why we need the return statement and the return values because the scope of that variable defined and used for the very first time inside any function is limited the scope of that variable is limited only inside the function so you can manipulate modify change or remove that variable only inside the function and as soon as you try to access that variable outside that function you will get a name error okay so depending on this criteria there are two types of scope that are defined by the python programming language the first is the global scope and the second is the local scope so a variable that has a global scope is known as a global variable okay so that is very obvious that a variable that has a global scope is known as a global variable but what actually is a global scope and what is a global variable so the variable that is defined and used for the very first time outside of all the functions that are present in that particular python program is known as a global variable okay so it is global that means it can be accessed anywhere in the program inside any function outside the function and the scope is the entire program for that particular variable okay so it is global in that sense so the global variable can be accessed inside a function it can be accessed outside the function in the direct program statements that we write uh, just after defining all the uh, functions okay so uh, one important thing is uh, that the global variable since it can be used throughout the program and it can also be used by different functions uh, that are present in the program so any of these functions can change the value of the global variable okay and if any of the program or any statement inside the program changes the value of the global variable that particular change is reflected at all the places so if the global variable is used inside uh, the first function and that function changes the value of the global variable then after that function if the global variable is being used inside a second function then in that case the second function will be uh, getting the updated value of the global variable that was updated by the previous function that used the global variable okay so this is an important point that you must remember now coming to local variables uh, local variables are the variables that have local scope and by that i mean that these are the variables that are defined inside a function their values can only be used within the function and as soon as the function terminates as soon as you come out of the function the control of execution gets transferred outside the function those local variables of the function cease to exist 
not exist that means they die or they cannot be any longer accessed outside the function okay so these are very important points that you must remember about the global and local scope and correspondingly global and local variables okay so this is an example program in this program i have in the very beginning of the program i have defined a variable named var now since this variable is defined outside all the functions or outside any function definition this becomes a global variable so you do not need to explicitly specify a any other indication for the python interpreter that this is a global variable if you are defining a variable and assigning it the value for the very first time such that that variable is present outside all the functions it will automatically be understood by the python interpreter as a global variable okay so var is a global variable then following this global variable is a function definition the function name is func and inside the function there is a local variable x why is it local because x is appearing for the very first time in this program and it is appearing within the function func okay so that is why x is a local variable now how are we assigning the value of x we are using the value of the global variable var and increasing that value by 2 and then assigning it to x so now in this statement it is very important to note two things firstly the global variable can be used inside this function because the global variable is accessible out everywhere in the program inside any function so the value 10 that we assigned to the gl global variable will be used here and when we are adding 2 to this value of the global variable we are assigning it to the local variable x we are not changing the value of the global variable okay we are just using it in the computation so when you print the value of the global variable in the very next statement you will get the answer as 10 which was the original value of the global variable and when you print the value of x you will get the global variable value plus 2 which is 12 okay now this all this output 10 and 12 you will achieve when you call the function and after the function call when you print the value of this variable the global variable again since the value has not been changed inside the function the value of the global variable remains unchanged and still it is output uh, the output of this statement will be 10 now this is an interesting statement in which we are printing x now the program does not know what is x that is why it will result into a name error why it does not know what is x because the x, the scope of x was only limited to this particular function and as soon as the function call terminated that means the entire function definition uh, was executed and the Uh, as soon as the control the flow of control got transferred to the statement following the function call x no longer exists okay <coughs> sorry so that is why the interpreter will shed, show an error which is name error that is x is not defined the interpreter is saying i have not seen any variable of this name so i do not know what to print if you would have printed x inside the function there would have been no error and as we can see 12 was easily printed okay so this is the difference between local and global scope so two more important points that you must remember while uh, <clears throat> using local and global variables see sometimes there might be a situation when you want to define a variable a local variable inside a function but you want to give it the same name as that of the global variable so in that case what will happen is that whenever a function defines a local variable which has the same name as the already existing global variable in that case inside the function the global variable becomes 
hidden that means when you refer to the variable that has the same name for the global and the local variable whenever you access that variable inside the function then the global variable will no longer be accessible and only the local variable would be accessible okay so if the same variable exists the same name exists for a global and local variable it basically hides the global variable inside that particular function okay and the second important point is that there might be situations when you want to write functions inside which you want to define a global variable so as of now till now we have seen that the global variables can only be defined or the variables that are present outside all the functions are only global but an exception to this rule is that if you want to define a variable and make it global and you want to provide this definition inside a function you can actually do that but you'll have to explicitly write the global keyword before the name of that variable inside the function so i'll just give you a quick example for both these points so in this uh, particular example i have a global variable num it is defined outside all the variable all the functions and it has the value 10 then there is a function definition and then we have a function call to this particular function so when we go inside the function we are defining a new variable num equal to 5 okay now do not get confused that this statement is actually uh, assigning the value 5 to the global variable no if inside a function you are doing such an assignment what is it considered the python interpreter understands that this particular variable num is a new variable which has the value 5 and another variable already exists which also has the name num but it is a global variable which is the value 10 okay so what will the python interpreter do that inside this function whenever you try to access num it will only access the local variable it will just hide the global variable so in this particular function you won't be able to access the global variable because there is already a variable having the same name as the existing global variable so when you print num here you are actually printing the local variable and the value printed would be 5 and this hides the local va global variable sorry now after the statement after the function call statement when the control is transferred to this print statement what happens is the print function prints the global variable now why because at this point in the program only one variable named num exists the local variable that was defined inside the function has already died and it is no longer accessible so that is why when you print the value of num you get the value of the global variable and it is not the local variable now the last example for this video is how to define a very global variable inside a function so as i just mentioned you need to specify the keyword global before writing the name of the global variable that you are defining so when you are inside a function and you want to define a global variable you write the global keyword preceding the name of the variable and then its value okay and then you when when you print var inside the function it will display the value 9 and when you print it outside then also it will be printing the value 9 this will not give an error because now var is a global variable okay so that's all for today's video in which we studied the global scope the local scope and the global and local variables and we also saw how a local variable can override a global variable which has the same name okay so i hope you have understood all these concepts stay tuned to this channel let us know which videos you would like to see again and uh, in, in which topics you need further clarity okay so thank you for watching that's all for today